Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, I'm going to tell you how to create random colors with only one material, so we can have different objects that have the same material, but with different colors. For example, we have the default cube here. I can press Shift D to duplicate it. As you can see, the new cube has a totally different color. Surprisingly, it has the same material name, so if I click on this object and try to see the material name, the material is called magic. Let's zoom out and click on the second object. We can see the same name, which is magic, so the cube has the same material, but it has a different color. You can also repeat the process to get many objects with the same material, but with random different colors. This will help you do cleaner and faster work in Blender, as you don't have to select each individual object to give it a different color, and the randomization process of colors are controllable, so you can let Blender select between a set of colors. I'll explain that later so let's delete all these cubes. The trick is very simple and easy, but I'd like to explain some basics first. So let's understand how the color ramp node works. So I have a color ramp node here, with only two colors. The green color is at position 0. And if you click on the yellow color, you can see that it is at position 1. So if I set the factor all the way up to the 1, it'll give the color that is at position 1 which is the yellow color. So when I connect the node, it'll give a yellow color. The same thing happens with the green. It is at position 0. So if I set the factor to be 0, it'll give the green color. If I set the factor to be somewhere between 0 and 1, it'll give the color in the middle. The color that is here. For example, if I type 0 0.5, it'll give this color here. This is a kind of interpolation. To make it easier to understand, I prepared a color ramp node with three colors. So I'll explain a node with one more color added. We have three colors here, and the same rule applies. The green color is at position 0. The red color is at position 0.5. The blue color is at position 1. The factor is set to 0, so it'll give the exact color that is at position 0, which is the green color. If I set the factor to 0.5, it'll give the red color. And if I set it to 1, it'll give the blue color. If I set it somewhere between 0 and 0.5, it'll give this color. For example, I'll set it to 0.25, and it'll give this color. And also if I set it between 0.5 and 1, it'll give this violet color. Let's set it to 0.75, and it'll give this color in between, so it's kind of interpolation of these two colors. So this factor controls the color of the object. So as we change the value of this factor, the color will change accordingly. I prepared another node that has many colors. This is the node that can give random colors. Let's connect it. The color can be changed and randomized depending on the factor. Here is how it can output different colors. You can add as many colors as you want. So, we need to give this factor a random number for each object. This can be done by a node called Object Info. You can insert this node by pressing Shift A, and then search for Object Info, it'll insert a node like this. For each object this node can give a random value. When you connect the random to the factor, it'll give this object a random color. For example, if you created a totally different object like an icosphere, let's put it here, and let's give it the same material. For this object, the object info node will generate a random value, and this value is connected to the factor so it'll have a different color. That's how it works. You can make as many copies as you want. This is useful if you want to make scattering in your scene and things like that. If you want to get more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe. Have a nice day, good luck with learning Blender.